So the Killing Floor 2 Summer Update, Treacherous Skies, is closed. I'm assuming it's going to come out this Tuesday, June 12th, because there hasn't been really any word from Tripwire in terms of, you know, changes or anything else. So I'm assuming it's done, and it's going to be coming out this Tuesday. Now, I put together seven items that I think are important for any new player of the update to know about. Hey guys, it's Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing awesome today. I know it's been a while again since I made a video, but I figured I'd put together this list after playing the beta, you know, for these last couple weeks on PC. There are a few things that will make a difference if you know them right out the gate. The first thing is that they removed melee reload canceling. So if you didn't know what you could do before is when you were reloading and you noticed that the counter was full, you could melee which would cancel the reload animation, saving you maybe one or two, three seconds. Well, Tripwire removed that. You can still reload cancel by switching the weapon, but I know using controller, <laughs> not ideal. So for all intents and purposes, it's gone. Now it is still effective with the gunslinger if you're dual wielding. I've found that it you know, it does save you a little bit of time, but it's not anywhere near what it used to be. Item number two, there are certain weapons that did get nerfed in this update. The first one, of course, is the Husk Cannon. Now, I, this probably isn't a surprise to anyone because it was, I would say, borderline OP, but a lot of fun. I mean, I tore up so many flesh pounds, quarter pounds with this thing. It was a blast. Well, they've nerfed it down quite a bit. Now the second thing is, because they introduced the Doomstick, and this is the tier four gun, they've nerfed the double barrel shotgun down quite a bit. Now you can get it to be pretty strong if you level it up to tier four. And I'll explain a little bit more about the upgrade system as we go along here. But if you upgrade it, it can be pretty good. Now the third weapon that they nerfed pretty good is the flamethrower. And I'm not really sure why, but they nerfed it down. So actually a lot of players are saying now that just stick with the cock and burn and level it up and it actually does more damage than the flamethrower. Now the fourth weapon they actually nerfed quite a bit is the eviscerator. And not necessarily the melee attack, but the saw blades they nerfed down quite a bit. And the reason behind nerfing the Eviscerator, they said in the developer's notes, was that basically the Eviscerator was never meant to be a large Zed killer as efficiently as it was, so they nerfed it down. Now item number three has to do with the upgrade system. In a way, the upgrade system is kind of a, what they call on Reddit, a noob trap, in that it seems like, hey, you should be upgrading all your guns and every gun's gonna be equal, they're not. Now there are certain tier 1s and even tier 2s that are really good if you get them up to tier 4 or tier 5, but definitely not all of them. And starting out you're probably better off just, you know, doing as you normally would do, sell your lower tier gun, your for example, your MP7, get your P90, eventually get your Chris SMG and so forth. Now, as I said, there are certain guns that are really good if you upgrade them, and I'll give you some of those later on in the video. But for the most part, you're still going to want to just sell your lower tier guns and get to your tier 3, tier 4 guns, and at the end of the game, that's when you're going to want to upgrade those guns to tier 4 or even tier 5. Item number 4, Prestige. Now in this update, they're introducing the ability to prestige a level 25 perk, one that you've maxed out, and re-level it all the way back up to level 25. Now when you do this, you're going to get an additional 30% more XP, and it will be 60% XP during the double XP event. And just to confirm, you can prestige all of your perks at one time if you want to. Item number five, the fastest way to level up your perks now is Endless Mode on the highest difficulty that you can play successfully on. So, you know, if, if you're like a level one, don't go on, <laughs> don't go on hell on earth because you probably get booted and you aren't going to do much. But if you can play on, say, hard or even suicidal, you're going to level up pretty fast. Now the reason why you level up so much faster is because every fifth wave you have a boss wave 
and you get a big chunk of XP for the boss. Now one important thing to note here is make sure you get at least one shot on the boss, otherwise you don't get the boss XP. Item number six is the Edars. Originally their weak point was their legs, like the rioters, but now it's the chest. So their chest is covered by an armored plate and you need to shoot that plate off first and then you can get to the critical hit area which when they blow up they'll self-destruct and release an EMP pulse like the berserker grenades. However, they do have a small area where you can shoot through the armor plate and hit the crit spot and blow them up. Now finally, item number seven, I'm gonna list off some of the different variations of guns and upgrades that people are using that they really like, and this comes from the Killing Floor 2 Reddit. The first combination is for Gunslinger, and that's tier five Deagles with AF-2011s. And I've tried out this, and the Deagles at tier five, they're no joke, they're really nice. The next one is the tier five Medic Shotgun. Now this I did try out and it is a beast. Another weapon you might want to try out is the tier 5 stoner. I'm not a huge fan of the stoner and I did try this out and it actually is pretty decent. Another combination to try out is the tier 5 spitfires for the firebug with the tier 5 dragon's breath. Now they renamed the fire trench gun the dragon's breath so that's what it is. and. Depending on what kind of situation you're in, you might want to have the Tier 5 Dragon's Breath for the Large Zeds and Tier 4 Spitfires. And I did try this one out too, and it's a lot of fun. The next combination to try out is the M99, and this is the new sniper rifle. And this is going to be a Tier 5, and it costs you 2500 DOSH. Now run this along with a 500 Magnum for taking out trash. Another gun that people really like is the Winchester, the starting rifle for the sharpshooter. Level that one all the way up to tier five, along with the dead eye skill, it's a beast. Now along with that, the center fire, if you level up to tier four or tier five, is also a beast. Another combination they mentioned is the AK-12 plus one. That means just leveling up one time. Evidently it puts out as much damage as the Scar H and you have what another 10 rounds in the magazine so really awesome. Another weapon combination they recommend is the Kroval. Leveling up the Kroval, the starting weapon for the Berserker, all the way up to tier 5. I tried that out and it's actually pretty good. Now one of my favorite combinations is the MP5 tier 5 plus the Chris SMG. Now the MP5 is just a preference, it's just one of my favorite guns in the game just because of the hip fire accuracy. <laughs> I've, I've read a few comments like, why do you always shoot from the hip? It's just a habit I picked up from playing Call of Duty, it's just so much faster a lot of times just shooting from the hip rather than going ADS. But this is an example of just exploring what kind of guns you like. Another one of my favorite combinations is the Tier 5 M4 Shotgun along with the Tier 4 DBS. Now the M4, <laughs> the M4 is amazing. I would highly suggest trying that gun out in this update. From what I've read, people have actually said on Reddit that it did get buffed. I'm not sure, but it is a monster and it, it just tears up bosses. A final tip I'm gonna give you is if you really wanna try out these different guns and try out your own favorite guns, Endless Mode works really well for this, especially once you get to the, like wave 10, 15, where you get a lot of extra dosh, you can start mixing and matching and just maxing out different guns, different perks, and just trying different combinations. It's just a lot of fun. If you want to stay up to date on the latest Killing Floor 2 news, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, this is Chris, have an awesome one.